Picking a career path can be very daunting, especially if it's something technical that requires a lot of effort up front. Back in 2013, I decided to become a software engineer. However, my path could have been very different if I decided to pick data science. So in this video, we will talk about how to pick between the two. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Luba and I'm a former product manager and a software engineer in Silicon Valley. In 2013, I first decided to become a software engineer. However, back then data science was already on a huge rise. And now both of these professions software engineer or a web developer or a developer in general, I'm going to use these terms interchangeably in this video, and data scientists are hugely popular and in demand. But first of all, I want to thank our today's sponsor, Lambda School. Lambda School is a remote first technical bootcamp. And right now they offer two programs, web development and data science. And if you already know which route you want to go, you can use my link www.lambdaschool.com Luba. And if you still are not sure which program is right for you, please continue watching this video until the end. From a high level, data scientists discover insights while software engineers build products. But what does this actually mean? As a software engineer, your sole responsibility is to use your programming skills to build software applications. You're going to be building new features, maybe building completely new products from scratch, maintaining existing products, and of course, communicating with your stakeholders such as product managers, data scientists, designers, or even in smaller startups, the customers themselves. In contrast, as a data scientist, your role is to provide insights to shape the product that's going to be built. So you're going to be using your statistical, analytical, mathematical engineering skills to dig through structured and unstructured sets of data to discover patterns, to analyze it, and to discover insights. So you're almost brought into the business as a consultant who has a lot of time to think, who understands the business as the back of their hand, to provide suggestions that are going to or not going to be incorporated into the product. Every company that handles data needs someone to handle that data uh, and make sense of that data and use that and leverage that data to make the right decisions and help businesses accrue more value and monetize more value on what, they are, what, what they're already doing. So I think in terms of the specific industries where I think data science is going to add the most value to be honest i think in any industry that uh that requires and nowadays all, all of the industries requires uh, sort of an understanding of, of data then go for it lambda school actually has an excellent quiz on their website that can provide you with more guidance around which program might be best suited for you but for now let's talk about the required skills to enter each field First and foremost, I want to address the misconception around math in software engineering. A lot of people think that to code, to learn how to code, you need to understand math and you need to understand it really, really well. I want to tell you guys right up front that this is wrong. And this is the misconception that I personally had as well when I first was introduced to coding in my chemical engineering curriculum in college. I studied MATLAB for the first time as my introduction. And we used a lot of linear algebra to tweak a bunch of graphs and I hated it. And that was completely wrong. And that kind of spurred me away from coding at the beginning. Software engineers do not need to be great at math to build products. In reality, coding is very logical. And what you need is that fundamental understanding um, of how programming works, that logic, and just to be good at building the product. And if you're a product engineer, you need to also have a good product sense. In any coding bootcamp, such as Lambda School, you will not need math as a prerequisite, nor you are gonna be spending a lot of time learning math. I would say if you like, if you really like math, so I know the data science includes a lot of like, things like linear algebra and things like that. Um, if you enjoy math, maybe data science, it would be the better choice for you. Um, if you want to like build websites and build applications, then 
web would probably be the better choice for you. I would probably do a little bit of research. If, if this was me and I was just trying to decide which program, I would probably do a little bit of research, like look at the data science job descriptions out there, look at the web job descriptions out there and like, which one is more interesting to you? Which one could you spend 40 hours a week at? And then I would go from there. Data science, however, is a completely different cup of tea. I, I'd say, you know, if you're someone that um, has an interest in like math, an interesting in statistics, an interesting in the quantitative side of things, then data science very much sort of would apply to you. However, you also have like the qualitative aspect of things. So like, it's not just like crunching numbers, right? Um, you have to be able to integrate your reasoning, your critical thinking skills, your problem solving skills with the quantitative side of things. So it, it's just sort of, I'd say, you need that hybrid um, a sort of interest and skill set of both like qualitative and, and quantitative. To start with data science or even to enter a data science bootcamp, you need to have at least a high level understanding of subjects like statistics and linear algebra. Uh, there was an immediate barrier for me with the mathematics and statistics required for data science. There are guides that um, we give in admissions to kind of help you like build your mathematics and comfort with statistics. And I'd taken a little bit in college. Um, I just didn't think that the day to day of working with numbers specifically all day was going to work very well for me. Um, despite the fact that it like it pays more and like my eyes were like dollar signs. I was much more drawn to the visual aspects of, of web development. We had some situations where we were able to work with data scientists as web developers and kind of how we would build something that would allow people to interact with the data models that they had built. So I liked that and that kind of gave me enough taste of the data science uh, side of things. But yeah, it was just primarily I liked the idea of building something for people to interact with as opposed to spending a lot of time like analyzing data specifically. Personally, I hated linear algebra in college and statistics was interesting. It was good. So as much as I would love to learn more about data science and dig my teeth into it out of sheer curiosity and desire to learn, I am a bit biased, but I wouldn't want to be a data scientist. However, that's just me and take my opinion with a huge pile of salt, not a grain of salt. Uh, but data science is a very fascinating and versatile field that has extreme variety of applications nowadays and a lot of verticals, data engineering, data warehousing, uh, data visualizations, fraud detection, search optimization. In fact, when I was at Airbnb, when I started as an engineer on a fraud team, our data scientists were constantly coming up with fabulous like incredible models to detect fraud and while other data scientists on the team might have been working on cleaning up data pipelines and developing a system to train those models more effectively so there is a lot of different ways you can apply yourself and apply your skills just a reminder that you can sign up for lambda school and see if you like it so use my link lambda school.com slash luba to do so and i'm very curious you guys uh, which program do you think is a better fit for yourself? Leave these thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to see um, where you skew, on the web development or on the data science front. So how can you enter each one of these fields? Software engineering definitely has a lower barrier to entry compared to data science. Uh, in a lot of bootcamp programs, you would need to uh, take some intro to programming classes and understand the fundamentals of, of programming. At Lambda School, you don't even need to do that because they're really trying to democratize access to education for everyone. So software engineering is a little easier to pick up and start. So how do you enter each one of the fields? While graduate level of studies, such as getting a master's degree or a PhD are definitely more valued in the data science space, there are shortcuts to enter either software engineering uh, or data science by going to a technical bootcamp. Getting a degree is a more traditional way to get into either of the fields, and I won't sugarcoat it, 
If you decide to go down the data science track, you will have to work harder up front. You will have to prove yourself more. Don't get me wrong. You have to prove yourself and work hard to enter software engineering as well. But data science just generally has a higher barrier to entry because of that emphasis on academia a lot of the times. However, if you do get into data science, uh, data science does have a higher average pay and there is a lot of versatile verticals that you can go into. So it's still a fascinating space if you are that person who enjoys qualitative research type of activities. It's also true that to be a great data scientist, you kind of need to be a good or really good programmer or software engineer. While the same doesn't stand true the other way around. If you want to become a fantastic software engineer, you do not necessarily need to be a great data scientist or know much about data science at all. So that also speaks to data science kind of being a bit of a tougher space in general. And I also want to touch upon ambiguity and definition of your role in a workspace. So while software engineer, developer, I told you that these I'm going to use these terms interchangeably in the video, while that role is pretty well defined, it's pretty clear what you're going to be doing on day to day basis, whom you're going to be interacting with. A data scientist significantly varies across company to company and even team to team. As a data scientist, you on one team, you might be working on uh, data engineering or cleaning up data pipelines or even establishing them to begin with. Um, on a third team or in a different company, you might be uh, diving deeper into data visualization. And every business is very different. So as I've mentioned before, as a data scientist, you need to have a very deep understanding of your business domain of the product. Uh, while as an engineer, yeah, you build product. Of course, you need to have a good understanding of the product that you're working on and building. But as a data scientist, you're providing insights to inform future product decisions or current product decisions. So you really need to understand the business vertical very deeply, I would say much more than as a software engineer. So just keep that in mind. It's more of an ambiguous role from company to company and team to team. So that might be tougher for some people, while for others, it might be a huge opportunity and an exciting factor. Sort of the data scientist is someone that you know knows a little bit about programming, knows a little bit about you know statistics, and he's sort of uh, a jack of all trades, maybe there's sort of this stigma like, oh, what is a data scientist? Is, is, is he like a statistician? Is he a software engineer? Like, is he a econometrician? Uh, is he a data visualization analyst? Like, it's just like so much falls within the, the scope of like the title data scientist. To conclude, I personally think, and again, take it with a grain of salt, this is just my personal opinion, that software engineering is a bit of an easier fit for most people, a bit of a better fit for most people. However, I do not want to crush your any of your data science aspirations, because if you do want to become a data scientist, of course, it's a fantastic opportunity, especially now that more and more companies will need more and more data scientists because uh, the world is becoming so data driven. And also don't forget to take that task on Lambda School website. Uh, it's a fantastic quiz that can help inform what might be a better fit for you. And as I expected, while I was taking that quiz, I uh, did get the web development would be a better fit for me. The, but they have a lot of um, quite targeted questions that might give you a better glimpse into what you would be doing as either of the in either of the professions. Don't forget also that to sign up for Lambda School, you can enter the first unit of the program and pass it before the ISA or the tuition kicks in, go to my link lambdaschool.com slash Nuba. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. As always, I would love to hear your comments in the comment section down below. I'm curious, which one do you think is a better fit for you? And don't forget to give this video a like if you did like it. And I hope to see you next time. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day and bye for now.